So if you've got these scraps and you don't know what to do with them, I've got an idea. I thought we'd have a little bit of a practice with our couching and we'd try out what sort of works best. So I have eyelash trim, I've got some netting, I have ribbon and I have like fabric. This is probably going to be quite tricky because it's got quite a lot of like fibres. And I've also just got some cotton fabric that I've ripped into a strip. You can also use all sorts of things like cord, um, wool, thicker yarn that you can't stitch. So I thought we'd have a go and see what we can do with these sort of things. And this is my little practice bit. And originally I made this in for a journal cover. But I think what I'm going to use it for now is just to practice my stitches. And I am quite happy with doing that. So the first thing, what I, what I really fancy doing is putting my initial on here. And I want to couch this on. And I may even couch over the top of this one with something else. So the first thing I thought I'd do, let me come into the middle, is just attach it down so we can start. Now, I know you've probably done couching before. But I thought we'd, we'd just go back and do some, like, you know, basic stitches. Because it's a new channel, I, I don't know where everybody's sort of level is. Probably about the same as mine. Like, love to do it and just want to play. Pretty much my sort of stitching. So I'm going to make a curly cut. A curly cut, because that's my name. And I'm only going to do little straight stitches on this one. I know there are other ways to couch. And we may get onto them. But what I want to do is just practice at keeping my stitches sort of even. It looks really nice. As you can see, all the, the only stitches I've done on this so far are straight ones and sometimes that's all you need right um is that, is that in the back the same so i do want to say thank you to my new subscribers especially to my friend jovi at creating with jovi and also, Linhi and Textpat777. They have all subscribed and I can see them on my public subscriber um, list. I know there's other people who are here and subscribed. But, um, yeah, they're the only people that are showing up as public. And, and that's totally fine. If you don't want to be public... It's no bother to me at all. I'm fine if you public or not. As long as you come and watch, that's all I'm asking. Um, I'd like to say a big thank you to the people who commented on my first video. Joanne and Jean and Dale, thank you so much. It's lovely to have you along. I know I recognise I recognise names and um, I do appreciate that you've come over so yeah we're looking forward to this little adventure together and as soon as we sort of get some more subscribers in we'll we'll start doing some some cool stuff i think some cool stuff but just for now all i'm gonna do is it's sort of the same thing as i was doing on me on my other channel just you know coming on Doing a bit of stitching, maybe making some books or making a wall hanging or making something like this just to practice on. doesn't have to be anything. You can just get a piece of fabric and put some bits down and stitch on it. That's it. That's all you need to do. And practice your stitching. Practice makes perfect. 
that's what they say and I'm still practicing I think I've been doing this for like two years I started with Roxy's journal of stitchery when she started doing that and it's I just got hooked I got hooked guys I don't know how long let me know in the comments how long you've been you've been stitching for because I mean I might be trying to teach you to suck eggs here you know you've probably been and done all this but I do know a lot of you don't aren't really into the really really intricate and detailed embroidery and and yet it that's not me either I would just I just want to be a bit more carefree with it so there we go I'm done my C I'm gonna cut this off like that and I think that that little bit of netting has worked really well I like that so yay for that I've took my jumper off from having a hot flush. <laughs> you know what it's like, ladies. I'm presuming that we've all either been there or we're going through it. Because it's it's one of them things that, you know, us girls have to put up with. Now, I quite like this, but I don't know. I'm thinking, actually, instead of couching it. No, we're going to do couching. Don't get distracted, Carol. I do get distracted. Maybe if we couched it sort of around, maybe around this, just a little bit, just like that. We could do that, couldn't we? I'm going to use the same cotton because, because it's here. And we're just going to couch this on. Oh, and I think we're going to get a little visitor. She's here. Whether she's going to come up and say hello, you can hear her in the background. Snowbell has appeared. Make her debut. Are you going to make your debut? No. Okay. No, she's sulking. I've given her gourmet today for her dinner and she's turned her nose up. If you have a cat, <laughs> I know a few of you do, but if you have a cat, are they as fussy as mine? Honestly. I I mean, gourmet is like one of the most expensive cat foods I can find. And she's still not eating it. I, I just don't get it. Some days she does. Some days she likes it. Today she doesn't. Today she doesn't like it. Oh, and here she is. Are you going to come and say hello to everybody? Or are you just going to walk across in front of the camera? Yep, okay. Um... Yeah, really fussy. So, of course, now she's meowing at me because she's hungry. And I'm like, well, it's your own fault. Go and eat your dinner. And we're back again. <laughs> yep. The things I have to put up with, guys. I have to put up with this. This. This tail in my... Um, oh, I'm sorry. You know what it is. Is I've got all my stuff where her blanket is. Do you want to sit on your blanket? Is that it? There you go. Oh, yeah, that was it. Thank you, she says. <laughs> okay. Right, we can carry on now. Get the cat sorted. So we're just going to couch. And couching is really easy. All you do is you just come up one side of whatever you're couching down and go back down the other side like that. There are some ways you can do couching that um, give a different effect. And I may try them. I might not do it with this because this is, is quite, you know, a bit, a bit fiddly because it's got lots of bits. We're just going to go up and down. And if you're not making anything at the moment, just make yourself a little practice piece like this. I mean, I just had this already. You might have something that you've already started. Maybe. Something that you've started and not finished because you don't know what to do with it next. I know I've got a few of them around. <laughs> we may be doing some finishing off, finishing off pieces. That's always a good project, isn't it? 
it's, it's right in the middle now, so it's getting a bit tricky to get holding it. But yeah, I think I think couching is is like one of my favourite stitches to do. As you know, I love my French knots. Straight stitching, nice and easy. But couching is sort of just really cool because you can add things that you don't usually add that you wouldn't be able to sew. I've tried to sew with this and I can't do it. Insert name because I've forgotten it again. Eyelash trim, that's the stuff. Honestly, can't remember nothing. Can't remember nothing. But yeah, very exciting to be doing this. I'm, I'm, I'm just so happy that I've got this opportunity and I can do this. It's hard work running two, but you know, I don't mind. Wish I had more time, make more videos, but hopefully we will we'll get into a, a bit of a routine and um, we'll get we'll get a little pattern going of what days are good and all that sort of thing. The best time that you want it out. There's all sorts of things we've got to work out and you can't do it all in one go you know it's going to take a little while but I, I do appreciate you all coming over and trying me out and you know sticking around um do I want to I think I might just go to the top of here and then stop because I really want to try a different couching stitch and I'm not sure if I can do it with this eyelash trim so we're gonna finish this it just adds some texture to your work look a bit of bit of variety because you know we haven't got enough on this page I could make a new, this could be a placemat, couldn't it? Oh, that could be so cool. You know, your own, your own little placemat. Loving it. Shall I cut it off? Yeah. That was a big decision, wasn't it? Shall I cut it off? Yep. <laughs> Just chop it off. Okay. What should we try next? Let's try this. Let's. I'm going to try this fabric. Because I've got fabric. And... I want to try something. I've heard that you can do couching, which is what we're doing, with um, buttonhole stitch. And I'm just looking at maybe putting it straight up here like this. Maybe. Like something like that. Just random. Just practising, guys. Practising. Um, I've got the other half of my three strands of this. It should be quite interesting. Oh, look, that's that. Must be a piece of that. So again, I'm just going to... Hopefully, am I in frame? Just check. Just checking. Yep. Good. Okay. Oh, I always like try to anchor my first piece. Because if you don't, it starts wiggling around. And I might just come down just there. Okay, right. And thank you to Joanne who showed me how to do this. So to start off your buttonhole stitch, you come back up to the top here so that you're in the right place to start. Now, I am going to have to turn this round, aren't I? Because I can't do it that way. And what we're going to do... I might, I might cr crinkle it up. Shall I crinkle it up? Or shall we just let it crinkle as we go? 
So for the buttonhole, we do that. And I'm going to come up, up and through there. It's, it's, it's like blanket stitch, isn't it? It's blanket stitch or buttonhole stitch. They all have different names, I think, like that. And you can couch down using this stitch like this she says oh god there's a lot of fabric there i think i must have a few layers and pull it through now you can pull it tight or you can leave it as as like that i think it looks quite cool and once once you get going that will pull so don't panic don't panic if it looks a bit weird Okay, so just leave that up out the way, come back down, and we'll go back up again. Down and up, down and up. Make sure this is that your thread is underneath your needle and pull it through. And that will make your your little buttonhole stitch. It just wants to ping back, but we're not gonna let it. We're not gonna let it, we're gonna make it stay where it is. So, up, oops, nearly, on top of your cotton or your thread. How cool is that? Oh, Snowbell's asleep. <laughs> There's a surprise. Maybe she's had her dinner. Maybe she's at it now. Honestly, fuss pot. There we go. And do you know what? If I go crooked, I'm not even going to worry. We're not worrying. We're just stitching. So we may do this for a couple of videos where we just practice some stitching. I think this is a good place to practice. You know, when you've already started something. Oops, come on. See, it's gone a bit, it's gone a bit awry here. So just pull it, pull it a bit tighter. There we go. Come on. Oh, come on. There we go. There we are. Try and I think I have to try and keep it a bit tighter than what I'm doing. I am learning too, so we're just learning together. I'm liking it. I love this effect. I wonder how else we can use this. Time will tell. You could do this on the edge of something, couldn't you? Well, that's... Not blanket stitches, I guess, but you could add this onto anything. As you can see, it's quite versatile. Couching, you can do all sorts. I really want to try that cord, but I don't know. I don't know if I can. I don't know whether I'm ready for that. What do you think? I, I quite like that. Quite like that effect. It's getting easier now. It's not so thick. I think thick is quite difficult. There you go. We're nearly done, guys. And I'm only going to keep these videos sort of quite short. And then you can go off and have a little practice. Or practice along with me. Come back, watch it again. If you can put up with me for a little bit more. <laughs> and then next time, maybe we'll come back and we'll try a different stitch. If you've got a stitch that you, you, you're sort of struggling with, let me know. And we can struggle together. No, I can try and, I can try and learn it. And then show you. Oh, my cotton's come off again. So I'll thread that back on again in a moment. 
So I'm just wondering how it would look if I did the stitches really close together. You know, just for some a different look. So let's have a... I've re-threaded the needle. <laughs> so you can make little stitches or big stitches. Just wondering. The little ones look quite cool. Oh, don't come out again. <laughs> oh, that's tough. Come on. Come on. Through you come. Is getting quite tough to get that through. I might give up because that is really tough there. <laughs> I'll give up. There's no point. No point in breaking my needle. So we'll finish that off. A couple of little stitches at the back. There we go. Put that one in my little pot. Put my needle away safely. There we go. And I may just trim that off, just like that. Put that in my little pot too. So there is a really cool stitch. I think that would be great in one of my seascape ones, that stitch, I like that. And just an ordinary couching one as well. So that's it for couching today. Any stitches that you want me to have a go at, let me know in the comments. Don't, nothing too difficult. We're, we're all just learning, okay? I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you so much. And please come back and see how we get on with our little bit of practice stitching. <laughs>